What's going on YouTube? This is Wasim from the Tech Boys and this is going to be my full review of the Samsung Galaxy S3 International Version. So I've had the device for about four days now and I'm going to give you my opinion, give a uh, thorough walkthrough of the device um, and how it performs compared to uh, smartphones today. So this is the S3, um, obviously the next generation of the Galaxy S family. Um, to be honest, when I first saw this device um, through the press conference, I was not not thrilled with how the design is or even the features. Um, but once I did get the device, I do I actually love the design of the Galaxy S3, and it is a very solid phone. Um, let's go ahead and start with the design. Of course, the big selling feature is the screen. It's a 4.8 inch uh, HD Super AMOLED display with a resolution of 720 by 1280 pixels. Um, that brings the pixel density to 306. So it's not as high as like the One X or the Galaxy Nexus, but it's still a very great display. But the device does stay extremely thin. It's at 8.6 millimeter thick, so just in line with the uh, the original Galaxy S2 and some other high-end devices. Um, it's also extremely light at 133 grams. Um, you also notice a physical home button at the bottom, followed by a capacitive menu button and a back button. And at the top, you're gonna get your earpiece. Um, all your sensors as well as a 1.9 megapixel front facing camera that can shoot an HD video. Um, on the back there is an 8 megapixel camera. It's a f2.6 aperture um, with a backside illuminated sensor as well as zero shutter lag. Um, an LED flash as well as a speaker. You can also see the Samsung logo. At the bottom of the device you're going to find the microphone as well as the micro USB for charging and syncing. On the right there's going to be a power button. At the top secondary microphone as well as a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And on the left is the volume rocker. So as for the design, Samsung said it is inspired by nature. It does look like a pebble which is um, what Samsung says. It comes in this uh, marble white or the blue. I personally like the white but it does come in a blue color as well. Um, unlike other devices like the One X, this has a full removable back cover and you do get a 2100 milliamp hour battery that's removable. Um, you also get a micro SIM tray and the expandable micro SD card which is great to see. Um, the device does come built in with 16, 32 or 64 gigs. With the expansion you can go with an additional 64 gigs which is awesome. Alright now what's inside this guy? There's one gig of RAM, there's a 1.4 gigahertz Exynos quad core chip. Um, as for the US version, it's going to come with a dual core Snapdragon chip and a and 2 gigs of RAM. This is obviously the international version, so it has the quad core and 1 gig of RAM. And software side, it's running the latest version of Android Ice Cream Sandwich, which is uh, a nature version of TouchWiz UX. Um, and it is Android, so you do get all your panels. Um, you also get some customizable widgets. Um, exclusively for this device just like uh, the Galaxy Nexus just tap on your widgets and you can scroll through all of your widgets and the device is extremely fast um, everything performs really well uh, one thing I did not like what Samsung has done is they didn't bring in the folders feature that is on ice cream sandwich um, I went through the settings I could not find a way to create um, good looking folders like the drag and drop. So if I try to put my Instagram app on Twitter it is not going to work. I would have to go to the menu, create folder, and then drag it into there. So I do not like that this folder looking thing. It, I prefer the ice cream sandwich version. So I hope Samsung does fix that in the future update. You do also get um, four customizable dock as well as your application drawer. And now let's talk about the screen for a little bit. Um, the screen is gorgeous. It's super saturated, um, very nice looking colors, and the te text is really crisp. I'll go ahead and play a video so you guys can um, get the idea of how well it looks. And the camera does not do it justice. The, sc the screen is really nice on this phone.
So there's the video, I'll let that play. You can see that the colors are coming out really nicely. It's extremely sharp and with a big screen like this, it's very enjoyable to watch movies on Netflix or YouTube videos or even your built-in movies that you can download on this device. And a new feature on the Samsung Galaxy S2 is you can actually play your videos while you're doing other things, let's say you want to go to your text message. You can actually still have your video playing and you can move it around and you can go to the web if you like and the video is still playing. So that is a awesome feature on the Galaxy S3. And when I want to go back, just tap it and it starts playing again. I, re I really like what Samsung has done with the multitasking. Um, it is the same as the ice cream sandwich one, but they also added a remove all right at the bottom and a task manager so I can easily kill all my apps just like that. There's also some really nice gestures. Let's say you're texting someone and you just you just go ahead and lift your phone from the text messaging app and it'll automatically call that person and that is using motion sensor as well as the proximity sensor when it's close to your face. Another great thing, uh, it's a neat thing to show off to your friends or just something to play around with is screenshots. You can easily take screenshots by just uh, moving your hand and I'll go ahead and demonstrate that and I hope it works so I don't embarrass myself on here. So there we go, and let's go ahead and talk about the camera. It is the 8 megapixel, it does shoot in 1080p video. Um, it is pretty familiar with the um, same uh, user interface as the S2. Um, you can take your camera as well as uh, switch to video mode, move to your front facing camera. Um, ton of effects, um, micro shot, face detection. Your shooting modes, you can do burst shots, so you can take up to 10 uh, photos at once, as well as HDR, uh, smile shot, and beauty. The phone does take pretty good looking pictures. I'll go ahead and put some samples right at the end. Let's go ahead and go to the web browser. Um, we're gonna go to, let's go to eBay, eBay.com. So it's gonna load up the website and it is a very fast browser. Let's go to the full site. So there is the website, it loaded in seconds. You could say flash is playing and it works really well. Pinch to zoom is extremely fast and smooth. You can easily double tap. It does have all the features you would expect um, in a browser. Um, you can do desktop view, uh, you can save web pages for offline reading, print, um, change the brightness on the web browser, as well as opening new tabs is really easy to do. Now let's go ahead and talk about multimedia for the Galaxy S3, obviously you can download your apps from the Google Play Store, which has a ton of great applications for games or any social networking tools and navigation. And you can also get uh, apps through Samsung's apps. So there you can download some apps as well. Another great feature built into the Galaxy S3 is S Voice, which is basically like a competitor to Siri on the Apple iPhone to activate S Voice. Just go ahead and double click the home screen, home button, and you can ask it, what's the weather outside? Here is the weather for San Mateo, California. And I went ahead and did that for me. Um, what's great about the 
Galaxy S3 is I can put it in driving mode and I can activate the S Voice Theory without even touching my phone, which I found that really convenient to use. All I need to do is say, Hi Galaxy, who is the President of the United States? That's going to go ahead and get that information for you, for me. Barack Obama. So I went ahead and did that for me, and I can go to more, and I can view some more information. Just like that. It's not as fast as, like, Siri, but it does work really well. Um, you can also send text message, as well as navigation, appointments, and open applications, as well as turn off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Now I'm going to go ahead and talk about call quality. Uh, earpiece is really good on the Galaxy S3. After pulling in signal, this was one of the weaker phones that don't pull in as much signal as some other devices like the iPhone or the Lumia 900. Um, I found the signal strength to be average in my area. Usually I can pick up more bars with other devices. Um, it is an HSPA Plus device, so uh, speed test ran between 2 or up to 6 megabits per second on AT&T. Uh, battery life is actually really well, does really good on the Galaxy S3. It's a 2100 mAh battery. Um, it did give me about 10 hours of talk time continuously. And this is going to be really interesting to see how it affects the LTE models once it arrives on AT&T, Verizon, and Sprint. Alright guys, this has been my full review of the Samsung Galaxy S3. This is uh, a really solid device. Um, it's going to be a big hit when it hits the US. Um, I definitely want the best Android phone I have used to today. So thank you for watching my video. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, we'll get more videos on the Samsung Galaxy S3. Thank you.